Welcome Capricorn to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels in highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right. So, Cappy, let's go ahead and get into your reading and see what do we need to know about your love interest at this time. Let's find out. Spirit, can you please reveal to me the energy surrounding the person that Capricorn is connected to in love? What do we need to know about this person's energy? Thank you, Spirit. What is their current overall energy and what is their energy towards you? What is the energy surrounding the person that is connected to you in love? Alright, so we have your yin yang and it's in reverse. So this is a yang energy. So there could be a masculine energy or a male energy, but it doesn't have to be. Whoever this person is, I really feel like they're willing to take action. So if they're in a place of duality, if you know they're trying to make a decision um, in regards to um, a thing between you and them or you and someone else. This could be a job situation. I really feel like they're moving things forward. Also, we have your angel of balance, but it's in reverse. So what that is telling me is that your person is not feeling very stable. Okay, so... <sighs> I mean, this could be in regards to you, but I really feel like this is them, okay? Right now, in their current situation, they have a hard time of communicating, okay? So, whatever this thing is, they know that they need to take action. They can't really communicate uh, clearly, okay? Um, and this is about your person's sense of stability, and I really feel like this is in regards to work. So, and the work situation there there must be something that's going on with your person in the workplace where they feel like they have no power they feel like they're not being heard maybe they're not being clear okay things like that now look at this we have here the fifth chakra um archangel gabriel so so if they're not feeling very balanced in the workplace, I do feel like Archangel Gabriel is here to help your person to clear up their throat chakra. So how ironic, right? This is actually really good. So this week, I feel like your person is learning to speak up, learning to clear their voice, okay, um, to kind of get something out, right? Let's go ahead and see what else. Now, with you, they're all tied up. Now, I have every reason to believe that this is work-related. So, whatever that's going on in their 3D physical life, they really feel like um, they can't really um, spend time with you or, you know, they're feeling kind of stuck. And also, we have caring connections, but it's in reverse. So, they're stuck because they can't really offer you a relationship. I really feel like... There's something that's going on with your person in the workplace and they need to really speak up, okay? I really feel like partially this is about communicating uh, towards you about what is going on with them physically, okay, in their day-to-day -day life. But let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, can you please clarify the energy of the person that is connected to Capricorn and love? What is the thing that is going on with them this week? Please give Capricorn clarity and insight in regards to the person that they are connected to and love. All right. 
So we have uh, reinvention and refocus. All right, so your person's really stagnant. They can't really focus and they can't really come up with new ideas. So, you know, I really feel like this is the blockage. So your person has a hard time of communicating. They don't even know how to speak. They can't really emote, you know, what is going on in their head. I would say Capricorn, okay, your person is having a hard time. Um, you know, give them some slack, right? At least this week, um, they're not very clear. I'm not getting that. It's not like they don't want to be with you. It's just that they're kind of stuck. And as I'm communicating this, I mean, I really feel like I could actually use some water um, as I'm communicating this energy. Let's go ahead and clarify why is all tied up in caring connections here in reverse spirit towards Capricorn from your person that you're connected to here. Okay, we have fall, but it came up in reverse and also big dreams and reverse. So they're kind of stuck, right? Um... I have a feeling like your person has hit a roadblock. So the fall month, since it's in reverse, I really feel like it's spring. And here in the United States, okay, spring is around the corner. Also, um, you know, if you're in a land down under, um, it could actually mean fall for you. Regardless of the situation, okay, your person is kind of stuck. Now, can they get out of this energy? Yes, they can. So I really feel like this energy that I'm picking up on your person is really temporary. And also, it's like their aspirations, their dreams, their goals is a little bit stifled, right? Like there's a kind of like a blockage that I'm sensing from your person. And it's because they have a hard time of communicating. Okay, so let's see what else is going on with your person here. Spirit, can you tell me a little bit more about this person's energy towards Capricorn? How do they currently think of you? How do they feel? What do they want? And what is the outcome? What is the energy surrounding Capricorns in love with this person that they're connected to in love? Thank you. All right. Wow, we have here the full. So there is a new beginning that they want. They just um, they just need it for themselves. That is what I'm feeling. For some, this person is traveling or they like to travel. And we have here the two of swords energy. So they're making a difficult decision. They're kind of torn about feeling motivated. Okay, so they're trying to stay focused. They're trying to get out of this blockage that, you know, why are they not happy? Okay, you know, I really feel like maybe they have a lot of regret or missed opportunities from the past. But they're trying to change. They're trying to um, get out that stuck energy. Because they, they really feel the sense of love when it comes to you. Okay, this is the Empress. So they really see that you're a very beautiful, handsome person, okay? I don't feel like it's because of you. I have every reason to believe that, you know, they really want to have this new beginning, but um, they're really trying, okay? So they're psyching themselves up to really do whatever it takes because they need to really walk away from a situation that isn't really serving them. And so I see that they are breaking free so that they can open up towards you romantically. So whatever this breaking free energy is, okay, I really feel like in the very beginning, this is like breaking free from, you know, how people um, perceive your person. They have a hard time of communicating. You know, whoever this person is, Capricorn, they just have a hard time of speaking up. Whether or not that's like, you know, there's a frog in their throat or they need to drink some water or maybe they just don't know how to communicate well. Whatever this energy is, I really feel like they they have a hard time of communicating their feelings towards you. Okay, and however this person comes off, it may be misinterpreted. Okay, so I really feel like, you know, Capricorn, if this rings true about your person, how, you know, um, 
you know, um, things are being like blurred between the lines, really, you know, put on your glasses and really see things a little bit more clearly because I really feel like that that's what's going on. There's like a little blur is what I'm seeing here um, and how this person comes off when it comes to you. So they could be confessing that um, they left you for a particular reason or they may communicate the reasons why they're not really uh, communicating to you as much or have not in the past. And the truth is, is that um, they were really busy trying to work on themselves. So this is in regards to their career, trying to advance themselves. Okay, so I really feel like, you know, they have self-esteem issues here. They really want to be the best that they can. They're trying to put their best foot forward when it comes to work because everything leads to how this person um, can really show up. And I really feel like it's in regards to work. So putting action because, you know, they're not able to communicate um, clearly what their intent is, okay, when it comes to something personal. So again, I have a feeling like maybe for some, you had recent conversation or contact with this person and it kind of helped your person get their butt into gear, kind of like a push forward, right? Like the extra oomph that they needed to kind of get the thing going. Um, at least that's what it seems like. Because I see that they're just not balanced and they know that they need to like get out of this stuck energy, okay? You know, they can't really offer you a relationship because they're not very clear if they can offer that to you because they have their own personal goals that they need to achieve. And I really feel like it's financial goals, you know, something to do with their work or their career. So they're making plans here, okay? For whatever reason, I feel like this person is traveling towards you, whether that this is like a significant distance or this is just right down the street. Um, I definitely see that, you know, they're planning to maybe approach you and um, they've actually been alone, okay? They've been isolated. They've been actually antisocial. So even though that your person may seem like, you know, they put themselves out there, I really am seeing that they aren't, okay? They're actually to themselves a lot and um, they want to apologize. They're really curious if they can really overcome this situation. And this is in regards to their choices and decisions of the past. So maybe there were options, right? Maybe there were other people. I really feel like they're trying to get out of their head because the reason why they didn't really come forward towards you is because they were not feeling very stable to begin with. They really didn't have much to offer. And, you know, they weren't really telling you the truth. And I see that, you know, they came off as being hopeless. You know, maybe they didn't have enough faith that, you know, this relationship would ever work out. So honestly, this would, this is what it feels like. Some may come towards you and confess that, you know, they always want to come forward towards you. But because, you know, they had like their own personal goals that they were dealing with, um, you know, they, they really couldn't really offer that to you. Okay. So I really feel like your person was insecure. All right. So let's go ahead and see what else. Well, so we have here the sun and the king of cups in reverse and also the king of wands in reverse. So how is your person thinking? Is that they, they really want to have fun for once, okay? They want to feel successful. They want to feel happy. But um, you could be dealing with a water sign or it could be a fire sign, okay? It doesn't have to be. But maybe they were kind of rude and impulsive and they went cold on you, okay? The reason is because they were holding back and it was a form of manipulation. Now, was this like intended? I don't think so. It was just like their coping mechanism to make them feel like they had a sense of control over their feelings, okay? Because, you know, I really feel like there was an attraction there between you and this person, but because of certain things that they didn't tell you, which I really feel like namely it was because of their career and finances, 
they really didn't open up towards you 100%, okay? And um, they kind of like treated you a certain way. And it was probably because, you know, they were really focused on their sense of stability, okay? Which is their root chakra. That's why they were not really um, embodying their higher self at the time. But now they're starting to see. So as your person is becoming more successful um, through their career, um, I feel like they're going to soften up or, or, you know, kind of melt their icy exterior here. So how do they feel? They're trying to let go of the barrier so that they can slowly open up because they do feel guilty. Okay. They feel guilty because why? They are feeling insecure. In a sense, you know, your person did feel that they were needing codependent when it comes to you, but then they caught themselves and they kind of like cut things off. That's why for some, they ghosted you. Um, they didn't want to, you know, they were kind of scared that, you know, they were maybe too uh, attached to you in that sort of way. Um, the other thing is, is that, you know, uh, their ego got in the way and they didn't want that to happen. So, you know, in turn, they uh, actually added, uh, acted very rudely towards you, okay? And you have no idea why, because I really feel like in the past, you and this particular person hit it off, okay? I don't feel like there was any kind of like, you know, anything negative there between the two of you, but I really feel like this has something to do with your person's personality and how they view themselves and how they feel that they can have a sense of control over the relationship dynamic between you and them. I'm seeing here uh, the strength. So you can be done with the Leo because I see here uh, the sun card. It's in here twice. But regardless, okay, your person feels that now they have the courage to approach you. Okay, again, this is a form of control. I'm not getting that they're being controlling, but this is how they know that they can get their feelings under wraps because your person is very compassionate in nature and they don't want to feel a weak in front of you. So this is kind of like a front, right? You know, they always try to control their emotions either by, you know, um, being a jerk or a bee when it comes to you, whatever that happened or transpired between the two of you in the past but it was like um you know they were just protecting their ego and and that's what i see very clearly for today now what is their intent well i see her death two of cups and also the ace of swords so there is some sort of change they do want to have a new beginning with you and they really want to have a partnership so you know, maybe in the next couple of months, uh, you could come together with this particular person and you may actually um, have an offer from them to see if you guys could have a relationship, okay, or the ability to kind of work with one another. Um, they're coming up with some sort of idea, okay, and they really want to tell you the truth that they sincerely really want to be in some sort of partnership or relationship with you. So again, I really feel like whoever this person is, okay, um, if this person is coming to your radar this week, they, they sincerely really want to open up towards you. So again, this is where their throat chakra was blocked. I really feel like it, it's not because of, you know, a relationship. I really feel like it's because of their work situation. And because of their work, it's actually, you know, kind of like, you know, um, kind of like a similar energy when it comes to their love life. Okay, so, you know, if you kind of look at things from a global perspective, and really seeing uh, your person through like a, a, a lens, right? You can see that, you know, the reason why that they are the way that they present themselves is because they're really protecting themselves because they don't want to get hurt. But also they want to appear or actually show you know, a real version of themselves, which, you know, is not very easy for this person. I definitely do feel like in the past, um, if they came off being a little bit uh, curt or rude, you know, it's because they really wanted to work on themselves. And I feel that it is more subconscious than, than a conscious decision. Okay. Now in the outcome, so they're not feeling very stable, but they want to, you know, take their time. This person really wants a relationship. So Capricorn, whoever this person is, they want stability. They want, 
they want to work it out, okay? And for some, it's a Taurus. It could be another earth sign. You know, um, they may be a little bit scattered right now, but they're trying to recollect, you know, their ideas or their thoughts and really uh, transmute that energy into something tangible, physical, okay? This may happen in the course of a year. So, but I really feel like in the next two months, you and a particular person may come together to form maybe a friendship or a starting of a relationship and then it will progress in the next year or in this year to something deeper because I really feel like your person wants to try you know they didn't really try as much before in the past but I really feel like now you know they they kind of know what they want so that's actually really good news especially if um you know you're in that situation so let's see what is it that your person like to confess Spirit, what is the confession coming from this person who is connected to Capricorn and love? What is this person's confession? Thank you, Spirit. What is it that they want to say? Any additional messages that want to come through? Thank you. It says, I feel the love you send to me and thank you for always forgiving me when my ego acts up. I do love you so much. What did I say, guys? Like, I can't make this tough up. You know, I really feel very strongly it was this person's ego. Their ego got in the way of this relationship. They felt like they were never good enough. Okay. They had a hard time of communicating. And um, again, I really feel like this was a subconscious thing. They were not really conscious aware that they were actually you know, enabling that type of behavior when it comes to you, okay? So, like I said, you have to kind of give your person the benefit of the doubt, but, you know, like I said, you don't have to take my word for it. Um, you know, be be that person who has, you know, the, um, the looking glass, right? Or the microscope, and really make observations on your person and kind of see, like, does this all check out, right? Because I definitely see that that's what's going on. Look, man, I... <laughs> I'm working my ass off to become the man of your dreams. Like, I told you, man, like, whoever this person is, they're work focused, okay? You know, they don't feel 100% secure, even though that they may be successful, okay? They feel like they're not good enough. And, you know, that's a personal, you know, um, issue that I feel that your person, you know, feels and you can't really change that aspect about them. But at least, you know, they're coming to you on their own and they're willing to open themselves up to love. I really feel like from the next two months, your person may slowly but surely want to offer you a traditional partnership, which I really feel like you know, it's been a long time coming and you've been wanting this for some time, Capricorn. And yeah, I see that this person is wanting to go slow, okay, and secure, slow and steady, okay, slow and steady wins the race, okay, hence the little turtles here. So let's see, what is the guidance message from Spirit? Spirit, what can you reveal to me about this person's energy? When it comes to Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or the cross watcher who is watching, what is the energy or vibration of the person that is connected to the Sun of Capricorn? Wow, look at this. Oh my God. We have Vesta home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Wow, that's really beautiful. Like, honestly, okay, Capricorn, whoever this person is, home is where the heart is. And I really feel like this person wants to settle down. You know, I really feel like whoever this is, you're going to have a relationship with someone who is has worked on themselves. Okay, they may have felt insecure in the past, but I really feel like, you know, they've worked on themselves. They're, they're working their ass off to become the man of your dreams, okay, or woman, okay, take as resonates. And they really feel this love 
they thank you so much for, you know, for forgiving them when their ego got in the way, you know, and, and that's what I feel. That's really beautiful. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope y'all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.